Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Filmora so that you can upgrade to the next version without losing your current version. Okay, so this is a question from one of my subscribers and I think it is good to let you know that you can back up your Filmora 11 before upgrading to Filmora 12. Okay, so I think it is very useful for you especially for those of you who have a low-end computer and you're worrying about Filmora 12, about the system requirement or stuff like that, you want to keep Filmora 11 on your computer and later you can just use it, okay? And actually it is very simple. By the way, I want to mention about the Black Friday deal of Wondershare. So uh, we have Black Friday, right? And this week, this Friday is Black Friday and now on their Wondershare website they have some special discount here so you want to purchase Filmora Perpetual License or Annual License you have a chance to save 42% so this is 42% off and now you can purchase Filmora for 63.99 US dollar only for both Windows and Mac OS of course there are also other deal here discount coupons for demo creator any reels and recover it or stuff like that and if you want to support my youtube channel you can also go to my website jackie deals and you can purchase filmora 11 at the same price it is also 63.99 with 20 percent discount in comparison with the original price okay and i have no idea why it is 42 percent okay so if you want to purchase it just go ahead to the link in the description to to purchase the software okay and there's another early black friday with active presenter here so they have 40 percent off for both active presenter 9 standard and also active presenter 9 pro version and if you want to purchase it you can also try it okay and uh, let's go back to my tutorial so first thing, uh, currently I'm, I'm using Filmora 12 beta version. So this is a second beta version. And this is my software, okay, about. So it is version 12.0.1 beta, okay. Okay, and now if I want to run Filmora 11 on my computer, yes, just close this one. Okay, and save my project. And let me show you my Filmora 11 because I just copied the installation file to my external drive. Okay, just click here and then go to my external drive. Okay, and here's my external drive. Just double click and now let's find Filmora 11. So uh, we have here, this is my Filmora 11. And actually I have different version of Filmora 11, 11.5 and 11.6. And this is the latest version so just double click to open it on the same computer okay so recently i have filmora 12 on my computer okay and this is my filmora 11 and you can see that they asked me to upgrade to 11.6.7 by the way it's okay and we can just create a new project to see the video editor okay Okay, so here's the Filmora 11. We have folder and global media, stock media, title, stuff like that. So everything is inside here. So that is easy, right? By the way, if you want to keep your Filmora version, you can do like this. Okay, so first thing you want to find the installation folder. For example, here uh, I have my desktop and this is my Filmora 12. But if you have Filmora 11 or Filmora 10, it's okay and just find the shortcut and then you want to right click and select open file location so it will show the installation folder okay just click here and this is my Filmora trail so all you need to do is to go back one step and then you want to right click and select copy and now you want to paste it to your external right and that is how you can keep the installation folder of Wondershare Filmora okay so by doing that, then you can move move your Filmora to an external drive and then open it and you can still run the older version of Filmora. So that's easy, right? And one thing I want to mention here is that we have another Wondershare folder which is in your document, but do not copy that's, that folder because that folder is your data folder. So it is not the installation folder. Okay, for example, I can select my document 
and we have another Wondershare folder here but just keep this Wondershare folder on your C drive do not copy this one because this is your project and your media or stuff like that okay so inside here uh, we have the backup and catch media cloud project and stuff like that so just keep it keep this folder on your C drive okay all right so that is how simple you can back up your filmora version before upgrading to newer version i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to check out the black friday news at the description <laughs> goodbye and see you again